Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys we're jumping down into the world of Harmony One, taking a look at what's been going on most recently with the price action and what I would expect to happen next. As I get into this video if you find it useful and informative hit the like button, I really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Now if you have not yet joined us in Discord the link is in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24 7. It's completely free and I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there. So why not go ahead and check that out today? Okay guys, let's um let's waste no more time with this though. Let's actually jump right down into it and take a look at what's been going on, right? So here we have Harmony paired up with USDT on the hourly chart and Binance is our data source. Now we are tracking some really complicated moves or when I say complicated, they're not overly complicated. They're just nested inside each other. So there's a lot of um, different degrees of uh, of waves going on here, wave, wave structures within Elliott Wave Theory. Um, so at the moment, we are actually tracking down in this little movement just here, as you can kind of see. My original expectations for this are between uh, 2 cent and 1.8 cent. And as you can see here, we've actually um, gone down lower than this. And this is because we were actually getting an overextension um, on this move to the downside okay so um, we're looking for here is a five wave structural move and this wave one is looking very very uh, sorry wave three even is looking very very deep but that being said hopefully it will still just bounce up into a little wave four and then drop down into its final fifth wave so this fi uh, fifth wave move is not yet over now if I take this move here and I pull that up into here you can kind of see that we've already gone past our expectations of where a fifth wave should go and um, so you know this is why we're talking about a five wave structural move inside here so let me just draw that out for you right so we go down here with a wave one up here with a wave two or if this is a wave three we're looking for a wave four bounce and then we're looking to come down a little bit lower all of which is our, our fifth wave move okay and we don't have any targets for this final fifth wave until we get that fourth wave bounce but it does look like it is coming we take a look at the stochastic on the hourly chart it is of course oversold so it does look like it needs to go up the four hours oversold the eight hours oversold and the daily does uh it's actually oversold as well so um harmony one is actually in a pretty good spot to kind of see this complete and then move up in a reasonably good way now all of this is a fifth wave on a macro scale okay so um we are tracking a third wave at the moment inside a fifth wave inside a fifth wave okay of which that fifth wave is inside a third wave meaning that there's a fourth wave bounce still to happen before we have a final descent down into a fifth wave low okay so if i start zooming out just remove that stock for a second there uh, bring this back down you can kind of see one two three four we're tracking five we're tracking the third inside that fifth wave. We want the fourth, we want the fifth wave low. Uh, I don't know where, where that's gonna end just yet. Um, it's gone a little bit past my expectations. So I'm waiting for that fourth wave in so that we can actually be a little bit more accurate, but I do expect reversal to come in here somewhere soon, okay? Um, then you can see all of that is inside our fifth wave here, okay? After a fourth wave that only went to about here. And this is where you start to see the overextension truly shine because if you take that low and this high, which is over here, here i think that you can see that our expectations were only 2.32 right so straight away you know that we've overextended on this fifth wave by having this uh, five wave move inside a five wa uh, fifth wave and inside there you can also see all of these sub wave counts right so right inside this third wave we go one two three four five then we bounced up right so um very very complicated stuff kind of going on i'll say complicated but nested inside the fourth wave up i estimate to be about 4.4 cent and um, so a pretty decent surge so if we take the current price right now up to about there you're talking about 148 percent before we actually descend down into those final lows of which we are talking about approximately one cent but it does depend on how high that fourth wave goes as to how low that final fifth wave goes okay and um yeah so for, for harmony one there's so much going on here and um, you know it, it, it's it's highly lucrative i do believe anyway because essentially if we drop down to those kind of levels where you know you're talking about a cent 
Um, I do think this is, has explosive potential afterwards, right? And if we take a look at those stochastic RSIs again, um, specifically on that daily chart, let me just bring that up here for a second, right? Um, and the reason that we have such a big move, we have one, two, three coming down here, four and five, we are oversold on our daily chart, indicating that this fourth wave move is very, very much likely. Now, this is vastly opposite to what many of the other altcoins are. They're already overbought on these daily chart right bitcoin's overbought on its daily chart so i think it's essentially important to you know to understand that harmony one is doing something slightly different um and it is going to potentially push up in a more significant way than many other altcoins because it needs to go back to this overbought area before we can actually go down into those fifth wave lows in my opinion uh, essentially once we have completed this entire five wave structural move to the downside there will be several things that we'll be wanting to watch out for um, on the journey back to the upside because we want to avoid any potential macro um, you know, trends to the downside. A five-wave move like this is, of course, a trend in itself. But a five-way structural move on a daily or a weekly chart like this, um, we would want it to be uh, isolated to a specific move. Uh, however, we should acknowledge that it could also retrace up pretty significantly and then collapse down in another five-way structural move. Okay, so um, we'll be keeping a very close eye on Harmony One um, and many of these other altcoins as well that have a five-way structure move. Ethereum, for example, is another one with a five-wave move on the weekly chart to the downside a significant trend um but we want to make sure that it is just that and you know we aren't looking at anything more sinister so um for for harmony one here i do think there's um some significant push to the upside i said 148 percent from the current price but i do expect that to go down lower uh, the lower that this third wave goes the higher in theory the fourth wave goes the higher the fourth wave goes the lower the fifth wave will go okay so these all relate to each other based on fibonacci um you know retracement numbers etc so and um, for the most part harmony one is in a reasonably good spot and a good place for accumulation in my opinion ahead of this surge upwards uh, we have the surge up and then you know we want to be really considering our positions again like we'd said when bitcoin was at 32 and surged to 48 you know consider what you want to do at that particular point in time obviously i'm not a financial advisor i can't give you financial advice but if you're hodling you have an option there to continue to hodl or exit out of a position ahead of the next drop for example something that we were talking a lot about specifically with our discord and our patreon members and then on a few of the video youtube videos as well when you know everything was rallied up quite nicely when bitcoin was at 32k we we're buying that dip um and essentially you know you're looking at uh, running that up towards the forty eight thousand dollar level and then you know making that decision do we want to come out of projects there and then accumulate later uh, and all of those kind of things i think something very similar for harmony one uh, in the way that we have uh, you know potential to accumulate at the lows of this way three um, and you know if of course you know this actually just turns into an overextended three wave structure and then we rally on up and we just smash past all of this stuff then essentially you know we were able to buy down here if of course the data suggests that a drop is coming and a crash is due at around this fourth wave then of course we have to make that decision as to whether we're going to hodl or whether we're going to just come out of the project and then accumulate later okay so fantastic ways to earn uh, during these kind of volatile moments um, and harmony one i do think is um it, it's got a lot of promise for the future but you know lots of concerns at the same time uh, lots of fundamental things also to consider um so yeah just make sure you do your own research uh, obviously none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor i cannot give you financial advice whatsoever and this is just my thoughts and opinions on the data inside the charts as i see it but make sure you do your own research make sure you understand what it is that you're getting involved in if you are looking to acquire any harmony one guys i'm going to leave this video there nice brief technical analysis update on harmony one if you found it useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with all that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one.